When we see the map of Iceland, some may think all this volcanic system we see drawn in a line, connected together, may all actually point to a fact for them that these are all connected together. Like something now that is promoted as a supervolcano in Campi Flegri of Italy, near the town of the Napoli. We are seeing a cult forming around this and uh, actually promoting every day that such a thing is going to happen, a big magma chamber all connected together, they will erupt. In America, we may have such a thing with the, you know, uh, super volcano supposedly there. It's almost like a cult. Every day they have to come and worship. Every day there is a massage going on to massage the subject, <laughs> milking it as much as possible before, you know, the, the subject dies out. So <laughs> is this the case? Is this something new? Unfortunately, it is not new. In the 19th century, and we have evidence for that in the form of a story by the Jules Verne called Journey to the Center of the Earth. Probably based on the journeys to the actual magma chambers of the uh, pipes and uh, tubes, shafts going down in the Iceland. You could actually think in that, are they all connected? If you go down in Iceland in one of these channels and pipes, you may end up all the way to the Italy and be out from the Stromboli, for example. So when uh, an average person like that saw the rocks containing fossils, it came logically to their mind that also dinosaurs live in the rocks, under the rocks, inside the earth, solid earth. As we know, these are just dead animals. We know that. We know a lot since then. And what we know is mostly related to plate tectonics, where the continents collide, gather in one point, and then separate. The forces which are causing this are coming from the deep within the earth. We have a mantle of the earth going through convections. Convection means the heat from the center of the earth, from the core of the earth, creating a creeping effect on the solid rock. These are not paste or molten material. They're solid. But with the heat, they rise, gradually creep. And these creeps create this kind of convection cells, behaving as if like paste. They are not paste, they are yet solid. When they reach near the crust of the earth, they create uh, earthquakes and separating the uh, sea floor caused by this create volcanism that we see. Volcanism here is related to the fact that the, when the solid material of the mantle reaches the, this area and pressure is relieved by this convection movement opening up gaps, this pressure relief creates melt. And the melted material we call magma, if it finds a way to the surface, erupts as volcanoes. Volcanoes which may be in a very explosive way, like what we know, for example, in some uh, situations. Or it may just be something gentle like what we see in the Iceland at the moment in the Reckoners. They are like a zipper. They move along as the cracks open up due to the different... Uh, texture and due to the, the fact that different rocks behave differently by the shape of the cracks, all the uh, you know, geometry of them, impurities in them, the location, everything can affect them, the rate of the expansion and the movement of these cracks and the eruptions followed by that may vary due to this. We may have at one end, like what we had in the craft flow, in the 1975 to 1984, which is to the extreme north part of these cracks happening and then seizing activity. Then, 20 some years later, in the Reckoners Peninsula, we see a new phase of this. The zipper starts again from there. 2021 to present, this continues. Fegredesville, Sotsengi are continuing this. What affects this is the availability of the magma and that magma must be present there. Magma in the form of the pressure relief rising to the, uh, causing the mantle rise to the near the surface and then melt and then erupt as volcanoes. And also the mechanical properties of the lithosphere or the earth crust in that location. Most of these eruptions happen actually in the Eurasian part of this uh, 
plate margin in the Reckoness Peninsula. That is interesting observation. So uh, we have to learn still a lot about this. This is not 20 or 30 year cycle. This is one of the things that you can put forward. Maybe there are more than that 200 years, 800 years, 1000 years cycle. We don't know what uh, causes these cycles still, and we have to learn more about what is going inside the earth, in, inside the interior. It's an exciting time to be a PhD student doing research on this, and I invite anybody who is interested in the subject, actually try, try to actually go and study in this field and provide some answers. Who knows, maybe the next big discovery is waiting to be made here. Of course, for sure, we can say there is no super volcano here. Not all the volcanoes will erupt in this area together, but there is a zipper action, and we have to find the cycle of the opening and closing of this zipper. And to discover the cycle and the period of these uh, recurring uh, volcanic eruptions in this area, and also we may help us with the other super volcano suspects.